Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here at Pink Shell Beach Resort in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. That's right, I'm in the United States. We're doing something a little different today and I'm showing you around a U.S. resort. This obviously is not all inclusive, but it's a beautiful beachfront property and I can't wait to show you. To arrive at the Pink Shell, you're going to turn in where it says registration and you're going to come around. You'll notice in Fort Myers a lot of the buildings are built up one level, so there'll be a ground level and then a first floor. This is to protect the buildings in case of storm surge. So you come here, don't unpack your car. You want to wait because you could be in one of four of the buildings. So you come in here and then you head up to the lobby. And here's the lobby. Here's a little coffee station, and then here's where you check in. Don't miss the fire pits just outside the lobby as you head toward the beach. In the Captiva building, you'll use your wristband to gain access to the fitness center. The fitness center is included in the resort fee. The resort fee is an extra charge in addition to what you pay for the room rate. The wristbands are really convenient. I really liked it better than having a room key, especially since you hop from pool to beach. This is Jack's, the main restaurant. It has a made-to-order omelet station for breakfast and a regular breakfast buffet. It is ocean view dining both inside and outside, and you get a great view of the property. So there's a large pool, a splash park, and then another small pool, which I'll show you later, just outside the Sanibel building. Here we'll head down to the main pool. This is the main building. We were up on that terrace before overlooking the resort. And want to give you a peek of the pool menu. As you can see, it is hotel prices. A burger is going to be around $16. Sandwiches between $13 and $14. Frozen drinks are going to be a little bit higher, but you can get a regular domestic beer for $4.50 or a craft beer for $6.50. Now this will give you a peek at the two restaurants. So Bongo's is there on the bottom with the yellow umbrellas, and then Ray's is up on top with the terrace there. Here's a peek at the menu for Bongo's. So you can see it has small plates, salad, flatbreads, burgers. It's very similar to what you can order around the pool. And here's the kids' menu. Grilled cheese, $6. Hot dog, $6. Steak and fries, $9. And peanut butter banana chocolate chip quesadilla, $3. The beach villas. That's the main building. That's the Captiva villas. And then that white building over there is the Sanibel. Welcome to 2112 in the Sanibel View building. King bed, closet, this is a handicap accessible room. I think though if you were in a wheelchair you'd have a hard time with this setup, getting into the closet. Sink. Flat top fridge. A nice desk. Let's take a look at the view. The pink shell is golf front. So you have this great patio, a lounger, a rocking chair, more hooks, a table. I really like all the hooks to hang up your towels or swimsuits as you come back from the beach. And then, again, this is handicap accessible, so it has the roll-in shower, bathroom, and sink. So the one kind of weird thing about this resort is to get from building to building, you do have to walk through the parking lot. So to go from Sanibel Villas to Jack's to the main pool, you walk through the parking lot. And then here we are going to the pool in between Captiva and Sanibel. So this is the pool right in front of the Sanibel Villas. Alright, 
There's the ones you can rent. Here's that beautiful white sand. There's the chairs you get. The resort also has a spa on property. It's actually two levels, so lots of treatments available. Here's where you check in. It has a great nail salon with pedicures and manicures. It has a steam room in the ladies' and gentlemen's locker rooms. That's free for anyone to use. It's included in your resort fee. This is a view of the ladies' locker room. Heading up the stairs is where the treatment rooms are going to be. So this is the relaxation area before you get your massage. And here's a peek into some of the massage rooms. All right, so that is Pink Shell Beach Resort. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, I post new videos every Tuesday, so be sure to subscribe or you can get them directly in your inbox by clicking the link in the description below.